three miles down the shore and I've arrived in the Belém district of Lisbon. This area is famous for being the point where a lot of expeditions left Portugal in the age of discovery. One of the most famous sites is Geronimo's Monastery. That's where I'm gonna head first. April the 25th, 1974, Portugal's last dictator was removed by a coup d'etat, a military coup that removed the dictator and put into place a democracy. It was later called the Carnation Revolution. This bridge right here, which incidentally I've got a great view of coming into land, is called the April 25th Bridge in memory of that revolution. And just across the right hand side of it, you can see the Christ is King statue. So this rather large monument right in front of me here is a tribute to Prince Henry the Navigator, who was one of the pioneers in Portuguese age of discoveries in the 15th and 16th century when people would set sail from right here in search of new lands and of course they found many northern africa shipping routes to india even japan and most famously i guess south america and brazil also it's a little known fact that christopher columbus stopped here on his way back from the americas Quick weather report, it is hot. Suntan lotions on, caps on, collars up. Just hope I don't get too sunburnt on the old arms because I haven't got any lotion on them. So this is Belém Tower, which was completed in 1519 and was built specifically to help defend Lisbon from enemies coming from the Atlantic Ocean. A bit closer now and you can see the tower right on the edge of the Tagus River. And it's pretty much here that the Tagus River goes out into the Atlantic Ocean. Right, I'm going to see if I can get into the tower. Just left the tower, heading back towards the train station. Gonna take a walk along the river here, sun has set, and then make the trek on train about three miles back into Lisbon centre. I'm back in the centre of Lisbon, had my dinner, and I'm about to try a Portuguese speciality for dessert, the custard tart. That is good. Still warm. <laughs> 